Hello and welcome to GG Print Studio. I'm Lina Nordenstrom and I'm a visual artist working with books and printmaking. I'd like to talk about uh, different aspects and challenges, challenges about to be a visual artist working with books. I've been, I've been making books since early 90s and uh, my practice has changed gradually a little bit but more than that, uh, the situation in Sweden has changed a lot when it comes to printmaking and publishing and artist books. But I want, I want to start to talk about, I'll tell you about an exhibition I had in uh, 1996, I think it was. At that exhibition, I showed a lot of book objects, not only book objects, but uh, together with prints, edition prints, and some edition books and drawings, like a mix. Uh, I always work with the whole process when I make books. I, I am in control of the whole process, so to speak. Uh, and I still, I still am. Um, so it's not a big difference between making a drawing or making a book. It's all part of my practice as an artist. But about book objects, I. I showed these, this kind of books, which is uh, a series of, of 20 different books, all with the same title, Rumsligare in Swedish, but booked room in English. And they are based on the same concept, the same idea of um, cutting out spaces in the book, so it's no print at all in them. But still, I don't regard them being a um, edition, an addition because they are have different formats and different cuttings, uh, different kind of staircases in them. So it's versions. It's um, it's book book objects, one of a kind. But I also showed books like this, which is in, a, in an edition of five. Uh, the title page, letter press, but. The pattern in the book, which is changing page by page because it's on transparent paper, it's drawing. But I still regard it being an edition of five because uh, it's exactly the same design, the same format, the same size. It's only the pattern that is slightly different in the books. And why do I tell you this? Yes, it's because more and more often I'm putting in situations where I think it's, uh, it's a bit difficult to handle. And it's about to, uh, uh, how to know what is, what is um, regarded being a published book and what is, um, and what is an art piece, an artist book like an art piece. We have this law in Sweden, which is called uh, duty delivery law or plikt leverans lagen. Uh, according to this law, you have to deliver everything that is printed, published for uh, uh, to, to be sold in public. And when you work with books, as I do, sometimes editioned, sometimes one of a kind, and also uh, original prints. It's sometimes hard to know uh, if my work um, is supposed to be part of that system or not. Because original prints as art is not included in that system. For example, I make books, edition books, books like this or booklets with a kind of concrete poetry in them and they are editioned uh, 40. Also this is another example. And I have delivered them as published books to the Royal Library. But if you compare with this for example, it's not a big difference to me. I mean it's it's an envelope. Letterpress printed envelope. And it's 
composed images in them, which is also kind of concrete poetry, I would claim, because it's, it's letters and lines, letterpress printed, from uh, the same cases you use when you compose texts. So the technique and the process is exactly the same as when I make um, my booklet. But this is single sheets. Uh, so it's more like a portfolio with original prints. So I'm not, I'm not sure if this is included uh, as a printed matter or if it's just original prints. This is another piece based on a line by Yeats. And I use that line to compose also kind of concrete poetry in the same edition of 40. But according to the law, this is not to be delivered. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm asking myself uh, constantly in which context my work uh, is more most, uh, where it's most accurate to show my work and uh, in what context uh, because when you when you when I make exhibitions there is another problem because when I show my books like on um, book tables in a gallery space people are afraid to touch people are afraid to browse because it's in the gallery and you really have to tell them that you have to browse the books, you have to handle them to be able to experience them. And that's never a problem in a book fair, for example. And that's why book fairs, small publishers fair, artist book fairs, uh, primarily in England, has become important to me as a complement to making exhibitions. Because there it's no doubt uh, uh, people are of course handling the books and it's a sit different situation you talk talk directly to the people that are interested um, and it's yeah it's socially and practically it's a very different situation so I'm glad that it's about to change also in Sweden we have had at least one ambitious really serious book fair artist book fair in Sweden so far and hopefully we will have more of them uh, because in the 90s, I, I felt a bit uncomfortable with the term publishing. And that was because, um, for example, I got this question from a visitor in the gallery that, uh, do you want to, would you like to uh, make a, a real book sometime? And I was just confused by the question. And my answer was that I think my books, because of their tactility and materiality uh, because of their sculptural qualities and um, yes things like that they are even more real than most books published by big publishers so I uh, for a long time I thought it was important to make a difference between publishing and artist books but it has changed, the scene has changed, and we have now so many small publishers working in close collaborations with artists. So it's not as big a difference anymore. I made, for example, um, a box with single sheets. It's a combination of drawing and typewriting readable but still very visual also like concrete poetry but maybe maybe i would prefer to call it material based poetry because it's very much about which technique which technology i use different technologies uh, allow you to work in different ways uh, and to use the language, typography in different ways. But in this case, I collaborated with a small publisher, Tim Glaset, to make like a facsimile. It's not exactly the same, it's not in a box, it's bounded and it's, it's scanned and printed 
digitally. But I'm very happy with the result, although, although it's not uh, the real thing, so to speak. It's not directly typed. It's a reproduction of my images. And the cover is letterpress printed and hand bound. So it's a combination of digital and handmade, which I like very much. I have other books made on uh, typewriters, produced on typewriters, so it's not a reproduction of the, of the text. It is actually produced, but in an open edition. This is a one-liner. There is no story, there is a line. So it's so many different possibilities, different solutions or ways to work with the book format. Another publisher, it's PSW, Petra Schulze Volgast. She's based in Germany and I have had collaborations with her as well. She is also working a lot on typewriters. She's a concrete poetry herself. And she also publishes other artists, poets, works. Her, the magazine she's publishing is called To Call. And she invites artists and poets from all over the world, actually, to contribute. And the originals could be produced in many different techniques. Uh, it could be digital, it could be uh, typewriting or letterpress but it's everything is visual visual poetry or asemic writing of some sort and she produces these magazines on a mimeograph which is an old copy copy machine and we have also other examples of graphic designers running their own publishing companies in Sweden Matilda Pleyel for example who is collaborating very closely with, with artists, making a kind of artist books. So the scene has really changed a lot since the 90s. Uh, the last example I want to mention here is not a small publisher. It's one of the biggest publishers in Sweden, Wahlström och Vidstrand. And this cover on a poetry book by Magnus William Olsson is handset here in GG Print Studio because he wanted a hand composed cover uh, printed from uh, lead type and wood type and you can see the uh, the text here the type and that's of course not a common uh, common today but maybe it is a change or a sign of um, this change that these two worlds is emerging, coming together, the publishing world and the artist book or the art world working with printmaking. Uh, and I'm happy to be part of that change. So thank you very much. That's what I want to say today. Bye bye.